2002 Chevy here with the 4.3. Year, make, and model don't matter much as long as you have a Chevy, you have a 4.3, maybe, I don't know, a 4.3 or a 5.7. This could happen to a lot of different vehicles. So we have no spark and we can't get a spark. Or when we finally get it fired up, it has a spark, it dies for no reason and it's erratic. Now, if you start it up and it dies only when it's hot and when it cools down, it fires back up, go straight to this ignition control module next to your coil. Um, if not, so what we've done is we've changed the coil. We've ripped the harness out of here. We've checked everything because we're just not getting a spark from anything. Crank sensor, ignition control module, coil, distributor, pickup coil inside the distributor, no spark anywhere. So then we come over here, we smack the ECM a couple times playing around, and it fires. We smack it a couple more times, and it dies. Smack it a couple more times, it fires. So it ends up, we know it's in the ECM. We pull the ECM out, check this out, what we found. So on the ECM, we couldn't find any issue at first when it came to the ECM because everything looked soldered, everything looked great. But you see these three big tits here? All three of those have one thing in common. They're ground. And that explains why we didn't get any codes from that vehicle when it was just like the vehicle was being shut off by the key. So if you look really close, this is cracked in an oval position right there, right on around. I think you can see that. There's a small crack right there at the tip of my finger going around. There's one really close to this one, and there's one that's spread oval. It kind of swings wide and then comes back right there. So what's the fix for this? We're gonna hit it with a soldering gun. It's heating up right now, and I'm gonna melt that back together, all three of those, and we should have a good ground connection. Again, that explains why we, did, we get, didn't get any codes from the ECM when we hooked up the OBD uh, connector. So I hope this video helps somebody out. If it did, do me a huge favor. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy.